Hey there everybody, right now I'd like to pass along a little piece of information I got from Keith Lober down at uh, Powderhorn Outfitters uh, here on Main Street in Bozeman, Montana. Uh, knowledgeable staff, uh, good selection of flies and fly gear, uh, go, great place to stop in if you're uh, coming through Bozeman on a trip or if you live here. Uh, I was talking to Keith one day about nymphing, I hadn't done much nymphing uh, and wanted to learn more about it, was talking to him about it. Uh, and he passed along a little, this little bit. Uh, what you'll do first of all is tie a clinch knot to the bend of your top nymph. Uh, that's pretty common knowledge for most people who are nymph fish, fishermen. Uh, but then he uh, recommended tying your second nymph on with a loop knot, uh, either the non-slip end knot or the perfection loop. Uh, I prefer the perfection loop and look for my next post on how to uh, tie a perfection loop with a nymph. Uh, it can be a little tricky, I guess, but uh, the advantage to this is that it gives your second nymph a little bit more of a natural drift. Now, if you had tied just a clinch knot on here, that line's going to be tight to the eye of that hook, uh, and it's going to wave a little bit in the water. The nymph is going to sit in line with your uh, with your tippet material, uh, and so whichever way that tip is pointing, that's kind of going to be the way that that nymph is pointing, and it'll wave in the water. Uh, now, if you use a, uh, a loop knot, either per perfection loop or a, a non-slip in loop, it's going to allow that eye to slide up and down a little bit and to rotate a little bit more freely. Uh, and I think imitating, uh, you know, more accurately a nymph that had just been knocked off of a rock and was floating down through the water. So give this technique a try. Uh, it's not as fast as tying on a, uh, a clinch knot, uh, but you can get pretty efficient at it. Uh, and you know, just you know, playing with these nymphs in the water, you can actually see how it floats a little more naturally, uh, and how it has a little more movement, a little more action to it. Uh, might be a little more enticing to the trout. Uh, so give that a try next time you're nymphing, and uh, comment on this blog, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.